Hello and welcome to the Tarot Empress channel. My name is Isabel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing a tarot card reading. It's going to be focused on the general energies for love. If you'd like to book a personal tarot card reading, you can only get one from me on the tarotempress.com. If you'd like to learn how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. So let's begin your tarot card reading. I've already shuffled the cards. Let's see what's going on in love. I'm going to be looking at the energy of your person and what they are experiencing in this situation. So the very first card that I have is indicating to me that you're dealing with an individual that is feeling as if, you know, things between the two of you is not really moving along in this particular situation. I feel like there's an energy here which is indicating stagnation. So there could be a lack of communication, a lack of movement, a lack of willingness on your part or on their part to try to do something. And this could have occurred for a period of time. This may have been going on, you know, for a few months, a few weeks. So what I'm getting from this card is also an indication here of a hesitation to really face things for what they are. I feel like someone goes into not into denial about their feelings or it could be a denial about the set of circumstances right now. So let's see, let's get some additional messages. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or if not, this person could have those placements in their chart. Now, I feel like this energy is also indicating to me that there's a difficulty for your person to express themselves. There's a difficulty for them to be vulnerable. There's a difficulty that they're having in terms of opening up on an emotional level for you. I feel like this individual is feeling blocked in some shape or form and feeling as if they can't just come forth and express themselves and be as open to you as much as possible. I feel like they have a lot of pent up emotions and I feel like this individual is suppressing a lot of those feelings inside of them. There is a deep desire and a genuine need to come forth and to lay it out out on the table but I feel like there's something that's just not allowing for this individual to do so. Now your person you know I'm sensing here that they have uh, this deep desire at this moment in time to sort of rush forth. I feel like there's an energy of them contemplating things and they're trying to be as uh, much of a leader as possible. You could be dealing with an Aries, Sag or Leo as well. That's one of the possibilities or they have it in their book chart. Uh, I feel like this energy is indicating to me that they have this deep sort of need to, you know, follow their heart, to follow their passion. At this moment in time, they're feeling very much pulled in that direction where they want to, you know, show up in your world, they want to um, express themselves emotionally, they want to be openly vulnerable, they want to, you know, allow you to see aspects of themselves that they may not have been willing to show in the past or they may have been hesitant to. Some of you may be dealing with an individual who has a tendency to sort of, you know, push people away. Uh, perhaps they are afraid of people seeing them be vulnerable. And with you, I feel like there may have been some sort of difficulty in showing those, you know, uh, elements of tenderness to their personality. So I feel like this person has a very strong sort of personality. They're coming across as someone that, you know, goes after what they want, does what they want. Uh, they want to be seen as a type of a leader. They want to uh, sort of express themselves in a way in which they come off authoritative uh, or in an authoritative sort of setting. They could be very ambitious. They could be the type of individual that is very smart and uh, they wear their heart on their sleeve, but they don't want people to know this. That's what I'm getting from this individual. There's a real hesitancy to just be vulnerable and open with who they are and how people perceive them. They could be uh, fearful of rejection or fearful of people taking advantage of them. That's what I'm getting from these cards as a combination so far. So let's see. Right now, the difficulty that the two of you are having is either a petty argument, it could be some sort of um, difficulty in, you know, 
the two of you seeing eye to eye and picking up a conflict. There could have been a fight. There could have been some type of, uh, you know, breakdown in communication between you and this individual, a disagreement of sorts. Perhaps the two of you were not able to meet each other halfway. So I'm getting an indication here that there's a sense of not overcoming something that could be very petty in nature. Maybe they said something that upset you, the two of you parted ways. Perhaps the last conversation that was had between the two of you was upsetting to one individual. You know, someone may have ended up being offended in some shape or form. And uh, I'm also picking up here that there's this energy of a lot of other people being involved in this set of circumstances. I feel like the energy is um, are indicating to me that there's a lot of other opinions in this situation. There's a lot of other people that have, uh, you know, said things or done things in the course of the situation that may cause a little bit of chaos in the course of your connection. That's what I'm sensing here. Now, in the past, you know, I feel like the two of you had a very open display of affection. Some of you could have been in a relationship with this individual. There may have been declarations of love. If you were not in a relationship with this person, this could be an indication of the fact that the two of you felt a connection with one another. This could also be an indication of the fact that the two of you may have contemplated the idea of marriage or you may have married one another at some point in time, right? So this is a very deep sort of connection because there's an emotional bond here. This isn't something that is just rooted in like a one night stand or things like that. It feels like it's much deeper and it goes further. Uh, I'm also getting a message from Spirit that the two of you have always, you know, sort of felt drawn to one another since the two of you have met or initially met one another, you know, when the, the point of seeing each other for the first time. There's a connection here that I'm sensing very deeply from this particular uh, card right now. I feel like there's also this energy of trying to serenade the other person. So if you're dealing with a man, they may have tried to serenade you. They may have tried to do, um, you know, uh, do very sweet sort of things for you in the course of the situation. They may have bought you um, your favorite perfume or they may have been, um, you know, adorning you with gifts that uh, they thought would make you happy. Uh, there's a real attempt on the part of one person to the other to please the other individual, to make the other person feel loved, needed and cared for. And I feel like that is a very standing kind of energy that is coming through. There was a genuine sort of need to, um, you know, please the other person to make them feel like, you know, uh, this connection is much different than the other connections that were had and experienced. Now, I feel like, you know, there's an energy which is indicating to me that, um, you know, th there's a shortcoming coming along here. There's, there's something here about uh, wishing they had done more, wishing that they had, um, you know, satisfied. If you're a female watching this reading, wishing that they had pleased you more, done more for you, you know, um, it, it feels like they feel a little bit guilty. And this is a rather unusual feeling. Uh, this could be connected to, you know, um, uh, this element of discomfort. I feel like it's connected to, to one of the chakras. This could be the sacral chakra. It feels like that kind of energy where uh, there was a deep desire to please. There's also uh, the energy of the root chakra that's coming up for some reason. So I feel like there's a sense here of being connected on a very deep level and you know, not feeling as if it was enough at some point in time, which is a very interesting notion. Now, the next card that I have is indicating here uh, that the person you're dealing with is really wanting to come riding in and to impress you in some shape or form, right? They're going to get this uh, sort of blend of energy that comes along and it sorts of uh, lifts this connection to a different level. There's an element here that is very intriguing and it's indicating here, um, you know, utilizing certain sort of tools, resources to make something happen. Uh, they're contemplating something, there's a desire to take action and there could potentially be action for some of you with this individual concerned in the near future. That's what I'm picking up from this particular card. There's a genuine need to sort of move things forward. And I feel like, you know, because they have these emotions that are bottled up and because they have this passion and fire and drive uh, pushing them forth, 
that's eventually going to lead to something. But as you can see in this particular card, uh, this individual is sort of levitating. And for some reason, that's giving me some air energy, you know. So riding in on the chariot, it's sort of like a magic carpet. But in this case, it's like some sort of a floating device. I'm not sure how to describe this, but there is an indication here. Uh, that this individual is sort of uh, flying uh, along, right? Uh, this particular card is also linked to Mercury, so do keep that in mind. Uh, that could be Libra, Gemini. Let's see, what are the other cards? Yeah. yeah, I see here that you're dealing with an individual that has... Um, a firm set of beliefs. This is not somebody who would just date anyone. This is not somebody who would just sort of throw themselves at people and, uh, you know, be in a relationship with an individual that doesn't meet their standards. This person is the type of individual that has a very high standards. And when I say that, they could be well accomplished in their career. They could be somebody uh, that has a lot of money. This could be an individual that is on the train of success. I'm picking up an energy which is indicating here uh, that um, there's a sense of people being awestruck by this individual in some sort of sense. And I'm also sensing here that this individual wants to have someone very special by their side. They don't just want to have an individual that sort of meets a certain need. Some of you could be dealing with uh, an individual that may have at one point in their life rushed into a connection for the sake of being married or for the sake of having children and uh, sort of not really thinking that through because it was expected of them you know by societal standards they may have embarked upon that journey but they may have gotten out of that because this card is indicating a very strong single energy if you're not dealing with a person that was married in a previous situation then potentially you're dealing with an individual that may have gotten together with an individual for the sake of being together with the person now i'm picking up an energy of maturity that's coming through from this individual and that gives me a sense here that this person Person now knows what they want out of life and they're not willing to settle that's coming through very very heavily right now I see uh, that there's this element of work that is coming through for this person uh, they may prioritize their work this could be somebody who's very dedicated and very skillful they could be an individual that's very motivated to make the world a better place or to perhaps even contribute to their workplace in a significant way uh, this is something that is affecting the situation right now. They could be busy with some work priorities. So if you haven't heard from them for some time, they could be sorting out things in the workplace and trying to attend to their duties and responsibilities that's coming across as well. Right. I see that there's this energy of them sort of wanting to drive to you or wanting to come up and meet you wherever you are. Uh, this person may drive past your home or they may drive past your workplace. I'm picking up an energy which is indicating that perhaps even they want to take you for a drive or they want to uh, go somewhere with you, you know, it feels like that kind of energy. Uh, this person feels as if they have to, you know, they have to get you to themselves, they have to show you who they are and, and have some time with you alone. I'm picking up alone time to show you, you know, um, this other aspect of themselves because, you know, there's, there's always two sides to a coin. There's never just going to be one side. And so there's this yin-yang energy which is coming up as well, this balance. And I'm feeling like with this particular card, for some reason, uh, they may feel as if you complete them in that sort of yin-yang setting, you know. Uh, they may bring in the uh, certain color, perhaps it's black, and you may be representing the white color. And so there's a meshing of two energies that is very much uh, complementing of one another. So I'm picking up here that they sort of see as someone that is going to complement their lifestyle as well as someone that is going to you know um, be that part of their world that is the missing piece that's what I'm also sensing here from this particular card now keep in mind when it comes to these tarot card readings um, they can be interpreted in millions of ways it just depends on the combination of cards that are coming up uh, that are leading to uh, the conclusion of each card so one energy compounds the other right now, I see here in the outcome, there's an element of indecision from this person's part, right? I feel like this individual feels as if you are someone that is sort of uh, standing still, right? Uh, I feel like there's also an energy which is indicating that this individual is watching you 
um, move along in life and perhaps they spy on you in certain instances but I feel like there's an energy that is indicating the flow the flow of life that's coming through very very interestingly because what I'm picking up is a sense here of um, you know this person standing still and watching you uh, go along with this flow and sort of wondering you know are you set in how you are going to approach this connection with them or are you potentially you know open to the notion of something more and i feel like this causes an element of confusion for this individual it also causes this element of not wanting to see things entirely um, more than anything from the way that these cards have come out there's a desire for clarity there's a desire to be seen there's a desire to be heard and I feel like they don't know if you can hear them or see them completely and entirely or if you're willing to do so. So that's what I'm sensing here so far. Now, I see here that your person in the outcome position is indicating um, not really being clear on whether or not their attempts is going to succeed because we do have this energy which is indicating emotion and indicating going forth. So I feel like this individual is at a place where they don't know if they're going to have some type of significant breakthrough with you. They don't know if this is going to move in the direction of, uh, you know, the path that they want to take it in. So I do pick up from this individual's energy that right now where they're standing is not really knowing if they're going to be successful in any type of communication with you. And that's bringing them a great deal of indecision. And um, I feel like there's a great deal of confusion that's coming through from this person. Like, what do they say? What do they do? If, is it going to, you know, sort of make any kind of difference in this particular situation so i do feel like this individual doesn't really know if they're going to win or they're going to lose and so they're standing in that energy right now in the extended reading i'm going to be looking at where the situation is going how can you move the situation along what's happening with the set of circumstances your best strategy and what else is going to occur for you and your person I hope you guys have enjoyed your tarot card reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.